don't you wait for me? Hello, today I'd like to demonstrate the uh, slightly crazy process that we're using to uh, create the character animations in Clodhoppers. I'm sure that Mal thinks I'm absolutely mad for doing things this way, but I felt like it was important to retain some of the uh, clay animation style of the original game. Uh, it all starts with this guy here. This was the original animation model that I made for Cletus Clay back in 2003. Um, the original game never, never was released for reasons that are too complicated and sad to go into right now. Um, but he was used, um, I used stop motion animation to uh, do all of the animation in that game, uh, old fashioned stop motion animation. So with with a 2D camera moving the uh, moving the model and taking the shots. He used to be a fully posable model. Uh, he's got a posable skeleton inside him and he's made of this flexible rubbery uh, polymer stuff um, which has since gone completely hard so he's not posable at all anymore. He's he's a rigid model. Um, but he's coming back. He's uh, now starring in a new game that we're making, Claude Hoppers. Uh, but he's not alone. We have um, up to eight players playing uh, simultaneously, and we want to support all kinds of uh, different player customizations and skins and, and hats and various things. Uh, so obviously it would not be practical to uh, stop motion animate all of them. I think the original game had something like 350 frames of animation. I'm not going to do that for every different character. So uh, we're taking a slightly different approach this time. And what we've done is we've we've 3D scanned the original Cletus model and we've turned him into a 3D model and recreated all the frames of animation from the original game uh, in 3D. And it's come a long way since 2003. But I still think it's important to uh, retain the uh, the handmade quality of the models so um, to talk a little bit about uh, what we're going to do to uh, to make all of the different clothing and hats and hairstyles and things that we're going to be providing for the different player customizations uh, so what we did is we took this the 3d scan of the Cletus model and then we sent that to a 3d printer and we printed out these these guys here which are like the same dimensions as the original character. But uh, as you can see, all the details have been taken off. He's He's got no hats, he's the same. But he's got no hat, he's got no, no clothes on, he's been uh, skinnied up a little bit. And this is going to be the blank model that uh, I used to build all of his clothes and different outfits uh, I'm going to be building them in clay and then we will scan those in in 3d and then import them into the game so as I say a pretty crazy way of, thing, of doing things but uh, you know maybe it's okay to be a little bit crazy sometimes we've got a uh, we got more than one uh, this guy here is He's already, you can see he's got a different nose. Uh, so that's one of the things that we're doing to, to differentiate characters. They're going to have different noses, different hairstyles, different costumes, all kinds of different things. So, um, I thought I'd do a little demonstration and uh, make something on camera. So I've got a nice, nice fresh packet of clay here and I've got um, some sculpting tools actually too that I uh, usually use sculpting tools but uh, I saw these on, on AliExpress for like two dollars I thought what the heck a whole bunch of little sculpting tools so they might come in handy I might pull them out we'll see how we go so uh, we're going to start by making a um, Using this blank, we're going to make a new body uh, with, uh, I think he's going to have bare arms, shorts, 
bare feet. There's an, an alternate kind of dungarees style. Nice fresh block of clay. Now, I'm not going to be uh, modelling this in colour because we're going to be recolouring it in all kinds of different colour schemes. And I'm using a light colour here because the 3D scanner that we use really scans a lot better with light coloured objects than with dark. All right, let's see what happens. Hideous. The clay is very warm and soft at the moment. And it makes it hard to, um, to do the small details. So we'll probably get the shape roughly and take them to it's been a few minutes in the fridge before I do the finishing. <laughs> it gets not my name. Clay is actually so warm and sticky, it's, it's like working with toothpaste. So I might just break for a minute here and uh, you can spend a little bit of time in the fridge, and cool down. Oh, sorry, I think I. Uh, Lost the video for a minute there. He's come back from the fridge. It's a little bit firmer now, not quite so paste-like. It's something that we have to do in the summertime. Just to make things a little bit more manageable. back in the fridge for the time being. Right, and uh, let's do something with the other one. It's going to have a 
boxes of long johns and some boots. and have a few minutes in the fridge too. It's getting a little bit too too soft and sticky. Here we go. It's a little bit less gooey now. Finish them off. Squashy again, so I'll stick them back in the fridge for a little bit more. All right, back, back from the fridge again. <laughs> for Cletus and it's off to the 3D scanner and we'll scan them in. scanned and here they are loaded into Blender. The next step is for the models to be sent off to Mal for uh, post-processing work uh, but in the meantime thanks to the uh, magic of Photoshop I can give you a quick preview of what they might look like when they've been coloured in. And there you go. 
This video is about the making of the clay animated action game Clodhoppers. We're developing the game completely in the open and it is available to play right now. Visit our website at claymatic.games and join our Discord to download the latest prototype, follow the game's development and chat with the team. We'd love to hear from you, so hopefully we'll see you there. In the meantime, thank you for watching.